Hello friend, welcome to our YouTube channel Algo Trading Tutorial. In this video, we will learn about how to access API data. To understand the process, we need to open our programming window, Spider. Here, all are same as it is in our previous video. No change or modification has been placed. We are going to discuss about three type of uh, data which we will get through quote method one type of data is future data uh, for this is I mention here symbol one uh, nifty 21 July future data and another is uh, option data nifty 20,021 July 15,900 CE and another age and uh, it is 2 symbol 2 and another is a stock data so the stock data is not in NFO category, it is in NSC. Exchange is NSC, so NSC in fee. In fee, okay. So, first, uh, and this is variable 3. So, first, we will discuss uh, symbol 3 NSC uh, Infosys data. I comment off to okay and I pass this variable to this quote method so we get the Infosys current market data through quote method so when we run this quote function we will get okay this data in a dictionary format in this dictionary data all the real time values uh, that is a uh, last price last quantity last buy or sell quantity volume average price everything is put here in dictionary format so we have to access in our required data through program so now I tell you how to access this access in the desired data from this dictionary format. Okay, first copy this data in a notepad. So here, uh, this is this data is for Infosys, Infosys stock. So first NSC in fee here in this dictionary, and then the second bracket instrument token. The instrument token is uh, for in fee stock. All the instrument that is a uh, stock, option chain, option or future all have an instrument token individual instrument token and this is unique you can call through uh, these uh, data by instrument token actually this is an identifier for this instrument and here timestamp last trade time all that data okay in that way in this dictionary format average price volume y average price open interest y high 
this is a stock so open interest is not uh, not for stock open interest is for only for future or option no lower circuit limit upper circuit limit OHLC open high low close and this is depth depth and sell uh, depth buy and sell these are the data which we will get through quote method uh, this is actually instantaneous data when we execute the quote method then uh, the data returned by the api server uh, so, so in these data uh, suppose we have to access the current market price of infi stock so what we will do go to our program window uh, so in this variable details all these data is stored and this uh, details variable is in dictionary format so to access the data inside the dictionary we place the code in this way so first current market price variable and uh, put here details and then mm, details uh, okay go to notepad this is the identifier nsc symbol actually this is for uh, nsc data get through quote method put it here okay and then nsc and then uh, last price this is the current market price okay so copy the last price uh, also in inverted comma inside inverted comma and uh, here put it here so this is the current market price and uh, from the details uh, dictionary and the, from the details variable we get the last price the, that is current market price in this way and print this current market price current market price and uh, comma this variable current market price okay so now execute this code okay and uh, okay so the print uh, details is this uh, data is for code method get the code data and this is the current market price okay just comment off this print details then you will see correctly the current market data and now save it and execute so now you will get the current market price of infosys 1648.7 so in this way you get any data from this dictionary format and and one thing is that all necessary data you will get it here in uh, this code method and use this data as per your program requirement so one interesting thing is here is that uh, this is OHLC open high low close 
and from this loop uh, from this field you get the open price high price low price close price if you get the open price then uh, you place here in that way open price okay mm. open open underscore p r i c e price in that way details copied here same uh, oh, copied the nsc this is the common and then uh, this is this field is ohlc 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 uh, two inverted comma one should be delete and then ohlc and inside this open okay yes. open it open uh, ohlc okay one is on this okay both mm -hmm. Okay, print here the open market open price open here is C E now execute this code once oh mm, you will while scanning string open okay okay one inverted comma is missing so put it here so executing and this is that current market price and the market open price is this so in this way uh, you will get all that current market data from um, code method similar way you uh, you can get the option data from this code method so just uh, in here uh, comment of symbol 3 and active open option symbol 2 nfo nifty 21 july J U L July is gone, so August A U G August 21 August. And this is the monthly option of uh, this. Okay, so symbol 2 and pass this uh, symbol 2 variable to this get method. Okay, okay, and uh, first. Uh, So the print details, uh, details data through this pin uh, print command, and all uh, comment of this. Okay. So now execute this data, and you will get the uh, current market details of uh, NFO Nifty 21 August. Um, option data of 15900 ce option okay, execute uh, now executing okay this is the option data mm -hmm. of this and copy it here from uh, this is copy to okay this uh, delete this and uh, paste it here uh, so you can understand so nfo uh, this is the code uh, this is the symbol of nifty option and the data is uh, just similar to that uh, for uh, infosys data uh, stock data so one uh, change is has this open at y y open interest and y day this field is with some uh, numerical value 
actually this is the current uh, y open interest of nifty and this strike price and uh, open interest day high open interest day low this all these data are very interesting and use this data uh, as per your program requirement so similar way we can access this data uh, here so one one or two example that is the current market price of this this uh, just change this uh, identifier uh, this is the dating nfo this uh, for the stock and paste it here nsc infosys replace this with this data okay and last price that's same okay and print this data okay comment of 10 details no need to display the whole data um, code we just need current market price okay and execute uh, save it and execute that and it will get the current market price of uh, the current market price of this option nifty 21 august 19 uh, 15900 c at the at uh, present market condition this is the price is 352.45 okay uh, this is now the market is in uh, market is live so um, one thing uh, just uh, execute again then you will get this value is just different different value so previous value is 3352.45 now the value is the uh, 351.75 execute once again and they will, will get the uh, different value so this is the current market uh, price of this option so similar way you can get the um, ohlc open price of this uh, open price of this uh, option so unhide this and run okay uh, the one error is there we forget to change this uh, for the, this uh, symbol okay copy from here to here okay and now execute once so you will get the market open price is 198.75 uh, this is uh, in this way you can access all this all current market data now in case of future we uh, consider nifty august future change uh, here and july to august you we'll see and uh, hide this symbol two and uh, unhide symbol one and pass this variable to code methods symbol one so we get the details of future data for nifty august future and uh, similar way current market price equal to details and uh, replace this symbol here to here and open price open market price also here so and execute it so for the future the current market price is 16,150 and market open price is 15,947 market open future price okay for nifty uh, to august future so so okay friend in this way you will get the current market data for your program requirement through code method actually we need the current market data to uh, satisfy the program logic or conditions to execute or buy order sell order in our later videos we will go through the details of discussion on how to implement the logic behind a program and uh, how to implement the uh, certain condition okay so thank you for watching my video and hope you will enjoy my video
ओके थैंक यू